in the presentation phase of the sales process, we're taking all of the data we've collected from the prospect and creating a tailored recommendation of the products for them. Now the presentation is where it all comes together. We spent time meeting with the prospect, finessing them, dating them, if you will. And we've gathered all this information about them so we can prepare a custom tailored set of recommendations to present to them. This can last anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and sometimes longer if the prospect has questions. So always be prepared and leave extra time to answer questions. The goal here is to leave the call with the prospect brought into your approach and excited to implement the recommendations. I like to kick off this meeting by reiterating the prospect's goals, review and confirm any outstanding facts about their current situation, and then walk them through the presentation. Typically, product recommendations include short-term, medium, and long-term recommendations. Some of it they'll implement now, and other pieces may be in a couple of years, but it's good to give them a view of how to reach their goals. A simple framework is here's where you want to be, here's where you are, and here's how we'd attack this or reach that goal. After the presentation, the client will probably have some questions for you. One of the key things to remember here is to be empathetic, be gentle with the client, right? Think like a client, have empathy and grace. Almost no client will have the financial knowledge or acumen that you have. So be ready to explain simple concepts a couple of times and have patience with the client. I always like to tell them, please feel free to stop me or interrupt me if you have any questions or something doesn't make sense. Because as soon as it starts to not make sense, at one point, it's not going to make sense down the line. So please don't feel bad to cut me off and stop if you have any questions. At the end of the call, you may or may not get a firm commitment from the client if they're ready to move forward. However, if you've done your job right and took care in all of the previous steps, there's absolutely no reason why the client will not want to move forward with you. Sometimes clients will want to think things over or talk them through with their partner, and that's totally fine. You have to let them know that you're also available to speak with their partner or spouse if they have any questions. However, remember if you're working with a couple that you should have always been meeting with them and communicating with them both the entire time. That is often how you lose a sale is you choose to meet with one partner or spouse and not the other. The other partner is left in the dark and then it leaves the ball in their court to make the decision amongst each other when one spouse has all the information and ammo they need, so to speak, and the other doesn't. So you really want to have all the loose ends tied up and don't leave any opportunity for them to question you in a way that's going to block their decision making and moving forward and putting their business with you. But remember, as you're closing this call, you have to get a commitment for the next call. This next call will be the call to get their commitment on moving forward with your products.